Okay, here we want to look at absolute value inequalities. All right, we've, we've already looked at absolute value equations, but now we want to look at absolute value inequalities. Um, so the first one we're going to look at on the left, it says the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 7. So now this is how we uh, set this up. I'm going to say it again. The absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 7. When we see this, <clears throat> we have to um, set it up as negative 7 less than x minus 4, which is less than 7. Okay? And we're still trying to get x <clears throat> by itself. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to write this, we're going to add 4 to each side. So negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3, which is less than x, which is less than 11. So basically, x could be anything between, any number between negative 3 and 11. So that's negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 11. Now, let's look at this next one. So if we notice, uh, these look similar, but now we have the absolute value of x minus 4 is greater than 7. So here we have to set up uh, two different equations. So first we're going to set up x minus 4 is greater than 7. And we're going to set up x minus 4 is less than negative 7. <clears throat> so we set up two different equations. So once again, I'm just going to add 4 to both sides. So we're going to say x is greater than 11. And on this other side, we're going to add 4 to both sides, just like we did before. And x is less than negative 3. So these are the two differences between these type of problems. And remember, when you initially look at an absolute value equation, the main thing you need to um, notice, you need to establish... Is it greater than or less than? Because that changes the way we set up our equations and, and our problems.